I wanted to do a quick walkthrough of the Queen Castle I've been working at putting together this year. The whole point is to take a colony that's full and productive, remove a few frames from that colony, and place um, them in here. And I'll have three separate, very tiny hives active in here and in this castle. And I will be able to pull from those hives extra bees or an extra queen if something were to happen to one of my main production hives. So this here is the heart and soul of everything, and this is something I bought online. The idea here is it sets aside three areas that will hold three frames each. So this area here, where one colony can live, this area here, where a separate colony can live, and then a third colony can live. And each colony has their own entrance and exit, and they can live separated from one another. This will be the base, and I'll put this on top. In order to help the bees differentiate which entrance is theirs, I painted them different colors. And going inside, it's a pretty traditional Langstroth setup. But I had to create these pieces here. This is simply cardboard that I cut to side and then wrapped in duct tape so the bees wouldn't start dragging the cardboard out. And you can see here is space for three frames and then they have their exit over here. Three more frames and their exits over here. Three more frames and then their exits right here. So these things reach all the way to the bottom and touch the bottom here. So that way each colony is completely separated from one another. There's no overflow. So we have three separate colonies. Um, how I plan to use this box is when I go to check on the bees, maybe even as early as um, this, this month, later this month, I'll be able to see if they're starting to get too big for their britches. And if I see any that have um, started maybe even building a few queen cells. I could pull a frame out that has brood on it, that has a queen cell started, an uncapped queen cell, and pull out some bees as maybe well as also maybe also pull out a frame of like food for the bees and then a, maybe an empty frame. So they would go into the queen castle with three frames, a frame of brood with a uncapped queen cell or a few on it a frame of food and an empty frame. The idea is if um, a queen dies and they can't make a new one, if a colony swarms and the, I wanna put a, install a queen in there really quick so I don't have to wait, or any other scenario which I need a queen, I won't have to go and buy a queen from someone in Florida who produces non-local bees, but instead I can, um, provide bees with a queen or even a full mini colony of extra bees and a queen from uh, their own sisters and a strong local stock. So we can keep things moving along pretty quickly. And if come maybe like late April, everything looks really good on the main hives, I could take what's in the queen castle and expand them into a larger hive, put them in a larger hive and just create new colonies out of them. So there's the idea. I'll let you know how I do end up using it, how that might differ from some of my ideas, and I'll let you know how it works.